accelerator, which makes it go, the throttle accelerator, yeah, twist, the twist or whatever, and we've got the, the brake on, on the on the left of that, the big pedal. You will, you will only use your right foot, okay? So your left foot, can you see where it is now? There's a, a little rest. Yeah, no, it's, 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 yeah, just use it as, 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 a, as, a, as a rest. Just make certain you can reach the pedals and just press them fully to the floor. All the way to the floor. Are you stretching are you, that? you are, I think, aren't you? Let's just come around the castle grid, come around the corner towards the centre. You'll see us in a moment. Yeah. Okay. And just make certain you can press your brake pedal with you. No, no, no. With your right foot. With your right foot. You, you forget your left foot. Okay. That's uh, that's good. So you happy with the brake pedal with your left with your right foot? That's good. Yeah. Okay. Bob, your seatbelt on. You can also adjust your steering column position. There's a little rotary dial here. If you. See what, I, see what I mean? Bring it towards you. You can put it away. Just have a play about with that until you're happy that the steering wheels. Can you feel? Can you feel where I mean? Here. Yeah. Okay. So let's just. You tapping? Yeah. So, did you happen to mention to Tony that it's your birthday today? Is it your birthday today? Yeah. Happy birthday. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. Gosh, one more year and you'll be into your teens. Mm -hmm. and then you'll be able to be all grumpy. Well, yeah. Right. Okay. So, let's just start the vehicle's electrics. There's a little button there that says start stop. If you just press that, that's good. So that's turned the electrics on. It's not actually turned the uh, the engine on. And we'll do that simply by having your foot on the brake pedal, your right foot on the brake pedal, and press that start stop button again. Okay, so that's the engine started. Now what we're going to do, as I said, this is a very, very um, powerful engine. Okay, three litres, 300 horsepower. So let's just have a play about with the accelerator. On your right hand dial here, You've got this little needle here that's roughly about 750 RPM. Mm -hmm. What we used to do is just press the accelerator until you get that needle. I think you're clear after me, Steve. Until you get that, that needle up to the two mark. Okay, that's 2000 RPM. And try and hold it at the two, two, two mark. It's quite hard to do. <laughs> Don't worry, just, just play about with it. Nice and gentle movements on your accelerator. It is possible, but it's very difficult. Just build it nice and gently. So, okay, just, just keep your foot s s still. Now, just increase a little bit. Yeah, that's getting better, but just keep it still. And then just, so, that's good, that's good. Perfect, see? I hold it there, great. Take it up to three. Hold it at three. Nice and gentle. Just keep it nice and smooth. And just keep it up to three. That's good. Okay, just back down. Well, no, hold it at three. <laughs> Come on. Just gentle movement. Just really, really just. Keep it going at that, 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 keep it, that's good, keep it going, just a little bit more, just a little bit more, that's good, that's good enough, yeah, that's good, that's good, okay, down to one and a half, you see how sensitive it is, yeah? That's good, that's perfect. Down to one. It's actually harder the slower you're going. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll call that a pass. Okay, now, in terms of steering, what I want you to do is regard your steering wheel with sort of 
right down the middle into two halves. So you've got your left half and you've got your right half, okay? So from 12 o'clock to six o'clock, left half, right half. Put your hands on the wheel at something like quarter to three or 10 to two. Yeah, quarter to three is fine or 10 to two is equally fine. Either one of those positions I'm happy with. Now, when you, when you steer the car, I'll just get these cameras on for a minute. If you wanted to turn to the left, uh, you turn to the right. Eh? If, you, if you wanted to turn to the left, you turn the wheel to the left, okay? But what I want you to do is keep your hands, the left hand stays on the left hand side of the wheel, the right one stays on the right hand side, so don't cross it over, okay? And the way to do it is to, is to sort of feed the wheel through your hands. So just turn the wheel to the left, that's good, yeah, and once you're there, put, then put that hand back on there, yeah, and then pull it again, you see what I mean, yeah, and keep keep coming around, keep coming around to the left, yeah, and, think, and more, and more, and you'll see this wheel turning, Go on, keep it all, turn it all the way around to the left, all the way around to the left, yeah, see the wheels moving, yeah, okay, so if you straighten it up again, straighten it all the way up using the same thing so pull with your right and, and sort of feed it through the through your hands that way okay now the way we the reason we do that is because you've got a lot of control on the wheel yeah if you start doing this and crossing your arms you're going to get yourself tied up in knots seriously okay now and forgive me if i'm teaching to suck eggs here but if you turn the wheel to the left yeah I'm just put, put a little bit of, of left hand turn, well, quite a bit on, yeah. Okay, a bit more. Okay, that's good, right. So, the wheel's to the left, so when we set off, the car is going to carry on to the left. And whilst the wheels are there, it will carry on going round to the left. So if you suddenly go around a corner, and you want to, uh, and the road goes straight, you then need to centralise your wheel, don't you? Yeah? I know, it's absolute basic fundamentals but you'd be surprised how many people keep the wheel on yeah so there you go so what we're going to do is we're going to engage a gear okay the way to engage a gear it's a three-point interlock okay you've got to have your right foot on the brake pedal so press press your brake pedal with your right foot there's a switch which goes all the way along the front of the of the gear lever here so keep that switch pressed and pull the gear lever back towards the, the rear of the vehicle and then you should get a, instead of a p in the, in the dashboard you should get a d for drive okay you want to do that that's perfect there you go that's all you need to do so what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of things on firstly we're going to put this vehicle into off-road height it's got air suspension as this, this vehicle and if i press that button now you should see the front of the the uh, the, the vehicle go up. So if I do that, you see it's going up. Okay, what's, what's happening is we've got air springs on each one of these vehicles, uh, on each of the corner, and the compressors putting air into each of the springs, and that's it, we're in off-road height. We've got what we call terrain response programs. Now, I'm not going to go into that too much. I might go into that with Mark when we, when we go in the, out in the Defender. But I'm going to put you into mud ruts, which is a very, very good program for what we want to. Yeah. And if you take your foot on the brake, we move forward. <laughs> but I think you've already found that out, haven't you? <laughs> okay. And we'll look, lastly, we'll put hill descent control on. I don't think we'll need hill descent control because it's fairly flat, but we'll see. Now, you can see it's raining. If you want to wipe your windows, it's on automatic uh, intermittent anyway, but if you use your right stalk and just pull it down, just pull it all the way there. You see, you can flick wipe it, yeah? So that's it, so you can pull it back up to the intermittent, yeah? But, so, you know what to do if you want to, to do that. So, what, we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to try to reverse, and just have a, have a little look. There's a, there's, a, there's a little track behind us, so if you put it into reverse, so foot on the brake pedal, press the button and move the gear lever forward, that's it, you're in reverse. Yeah, that's it. You've got big R on your on your dashboard. That signifies we're in reverse. And you can see we've got the telltale signs here. So what I want you to do is just don't take your foot completely off the brake. 
just ease the pressure on the brake and she'll start to move. So by doing that, just ease the pressure, that's good, good. You can see the vehicle's moving, but you're still controlling it on the brake, yeah? If you took your foot completely off the brake, just leave it for a second, it'll move quite quickly. So back on the brake, gently, and you see how you can actually control the vehicle. So what I want you to do is just take your foot, ease it off the brake so that you're still on the brake, but we're moving, and just go down that track. So you want a little bit of left hand down, no, left hand down, left. Go to the left, a little bit to the left, that's good. Keep it moving, but a little bit to the left with your wheel. That's good. Straighten your wheel up there. Straighten your wheel. That's good. On the brake a little bit. Yeah. Keep us moving, but just, just, just find that balance. Yeah, Where, whereby you're still controlling the vehicle on the brake, but it's actually moving. So just ease the pressure on the brake. Ease the pressure. That's good. That's good. Keep it. Uh, are you off the brake there? I think you are, aren't you? Yeah, you are off the brake. Just put a little bit of little bit of acceleration on there. Tiny wee bit. So the accelerator is the right hand pedal. That's it. That's good. We we obviously came across a little bit of resistance on the ground there. Okay, so again back on the brake, just keep it move, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. So you you actually control it via the brake. That's good. That's good. A little bit further back and a little bit of left hand down you see we're easing over to the, to the right of the track there so ease a bit, bit of left hand down that's good that's perfect that's perfect and straight that's good we're doing the difficult bits first actually Danny with you that's pretty good carry on okay I'll bring it to a full stop okay that's really good now select drive Okay, so you need your foot on the brake pedal. Okay. Oh, but you're in there anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Let me just get the cameras have, have gone back. So just take us to the end of the end of this drive where there's a little bit of white gravel on the right hand side and stop us there. Okay. So again, you can just take your foot off the brake pedal a little bit and it can take it off completely and it will either go and if it comes to an Halts, you can use a little bit of acceleration, so just a tiny bit of acceleration there. That's good. Keep it coming, keep it coming. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. And then I want you to bring us to a nice gentle stop next to this pile of gravel on the right hand side. Okay, a little bit further and do the same. Nice gentle, stop. yeah, that's good. That's good, right. So what we're going to do, we're going to play out seriously now. Let's go forward and I want you to move so that we're passing that white ramp on the left hand side. Okay. Off the brake completely. That's it and just gently. Now, you'll, what you'll find with this, because it's a big powerful engine, you might find it starting to run away from you. Yeah. If it runs away from you, just transfer your foot from the accelerator to the brake pedal and do what you did there. Just apply a little bit of light pressure to slow it down without stopping. Yeah? Okay, good. And we're going to come round to the right. And you see those that road on the right hand side? That's an old a road made of old sleepers. So come over to the right a little bit. Come over to the right. That's good. And then get nice and straight on the road. And then what I want you to do is to try to take it up about five miles an hour. Get so nice and straight. Just straighten your wheels there. Just come over to the left a little bit. That's good. Okay. So accelerate a little bit. Accelerate. is actually sponsored by Fixident. Yeah, you know the false teeth people. Oh. Where, where, where the, well, you're a bit young for false teeth, but we're getting there. Okay, so what we're going to do, we've got a big, big bump ahead of us. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to ease slightly to the left so that we've got this wheel on the bump and this wheel in the on the on the left hand side in the lower bit okay so nice and slow as you just ease and steer that's good now as you start going up the bump it might come to a natural halt so you might need a little bit of acceleration look at your cameras as well by the way okay so over to the right now right 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 all, all the way right all the way right that's good that's good Where there's this little ridge in the road, just bring it to a gentle stop. Good, okay. No, that's good. So, I can make these pictures bigger now. So I'm gonna increase the picture size on this left-hand track. And can you see there's a little bit of an embankment on the left? We're gonna gently go up that embankment, probably about one or two miles an hour, something like that, okay? So, just nice and gently don't need any accelerate well yes you do to get over this bump that's it and then let it just trickle forward so come over to the left come over to the left. that's good that's good now you should find that it will slow down and even stop just a tiny bit of acceleration just to breathe on the acceleration that's good just keep it coming about that sort of speed keep it coming and she will tilt over quite a bit okay but don't worry about it they employ fat instructors at the at the side to keep all the weight on this side so we won't flip over. Okay. That's why you stop me on this side, Daniela. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. That's good. So, it's on the brake now. Just sorry. Right. It's on the brake. It's on the brake. That's good. That's good. That's good. And stop. 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 Ah, that's good. That's good. Sorry. You just, <laughs> you just cracked me off. <laughs> Sorry, dear. I don't mean to laugh, but it was, it was a bit funny. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> we're tilted over. That's a little bit of an angle, yeah? Any, how good you maths? You good at maths? Yeah. Okay. What sort of angle do you reckon we're over at? 45. 45. Mark, any, any advance? I'm going to go about 25. 25. Shall we see who's closest? Who do you reckon is going to be closest, Danny? I don't know. Let's, let's find out, shall Press the button. 21. So, yeah, Mark, you've, uh, you've, you've won there. But it just shows you it feels a lot, a lot worse, doesn't it, than, than, tw than 21. Okay, that's good. So, sorry, just double check. Okay, just gently ease off on the brake, and we should start to move forward. If we don't, then give it a tiny little bit of persuasion from the accelerator, just a tiny wee bit. Just build it. And then as soon as she starts to move off the accelerator, gently back onto the brake. Keep us moving. Keep us moving onto the brake a little bit more. More onto the brake, that's good. And then come a little bit to the right, a little bit to the right, that's good. And then fully, fully straight, and then fully to the left. So barriers in that hedge, well, not quite, but you know, go, go, to, go towards it. Okay, and straighten, straight up there, and just stop there. Okay, very well done. You start to, you're starting to lose it a bit with your steering there. Did you notice you were crossing your hands? try not to do that but apart from that really really good now what we're going to do what do you, we've got the water ahead of us we've got the dam what do you reckon is the next obstacle though have you have you got any any ideas hmm if you have a look out the window what can you see we've got a big concrete trough you see it we've got to get this car across that concrete trough. Ooh, mm. keep, keep on the brake. Okay, now, what we're going to do, you can, I don't know if you can see that, Mark. There's a concrete yeah. uh, gully down there, which is draining the, the top field down, down there. Now, if this is the, if my arm is the gully, yeah, and this is the vehicle, what we shouldn't do, okay, 
although we could probably get away with it here because it's nice and, and, and firm ground what you shouldn't do is take your vehicle dead straight across because what happens is you get your, your front wheels in the gully and it's harder to get two wheels out than it is to get one wheel out and if you're on field for example you get two wheels in your gully or it could be a mud rut and they get stuck and you're only relying on your, your rear two wheels yeah you start to accelerate and those rear two wheels are going to dig all the way down to Australia and you're going to need somebody with a with a tractor or a quad bike to come and tow you out so what we're going to do is we're going to come across here and we're going to turn so that we're going at a 45 degree angle to that and what we're going to do is we're going to get that wheel in first then as that wheel comes out we're going to drop that wheel in and we're going to do it nice and gently okay so what I want you to do is come a little bit further forward so just easy oh you, you've got hold on so you're going to need a little bit of uh, acceleration just a tiny blip that's it and turn fully right fully right fully right fully right sorry I had to stop you there fully fully no keep fully right keep fully right and just, and just let it ease or a tiny bit of acceleration just a tiny wee bit that's good and just bring it to the halt about there now I'm braking for you so if you put your foot on the brake put your foot on the brake that's good now if you have a look here we're quite in at this side so so just straighten straighten your wheel you see where your wheel is bring it around to the left that's good okay now just gently gently I think I think we're so close here anyway we're gonna drop them in together anyway not to worry just, yeah I think uh, yeah let's let's do that pop it into reverse that's a sorry uh, forward that's it turn your wheel to the left to the left that's good all the way to the left okay and then just ease up on the brake a minute ease off the brake and then just put a tiny bit of acceleration on that's good uh, that's good keep it coming keep it coming around and, and a bit more a little bit more and stop it okay right so put it into drive it's good foot on the brake yeah good okay and turn your wheel absolutely dead straight In fact, go go fully round to the right that's good right now just ease off on your brake a little bit and, and move us forward just ease off on the brake that's good and stop yeah okay straighten your wheels don't go. crush your arms right. now you can see this wheels closer to the gully than this one yeah so what we're going to do is we're just going to ease off on the brake, just get it moving slowly right to the edge of the stone and stop. Just a little bit further and stop, stop. Now, nah, good. We're right on the edge of the stone now. So if you just, just gently, just gently take, that's good. And then just let it roll in and kiss the other side. Go on. Oh, that's brilliant. Well done. Well done. Now. What you need to do, if you take your foot off the off the pedals, it's going to stay there, yeah? So you're going to need a bit of acceleration on this. So as soon as you accelerate and this wheel comes out, you need to be back on the brake for that one, okay? So accelerate and then brake, yeah? Off you go. Just build your power and brake. That's, yeah, that's good. Now, just ease off on the brake and she should carry on going. No, she's got... My apologies. She just dropped back in. So do the same thing again, you almost had it. That's it, yeah. A little bit more acceleration perhaps, just a tiny bit more. That's good. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's 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 hard to do, don't worry about it. Okay, but what we're gonna do is just lift your lift off the off the brake and she should carry on going. Now keep on the brake, keep on the brake, keep it just keep it just rolling because we've we've got to do the same with the rear wheels, don't forget. Keep your wheel straight. Okay, just can it just ease ease off on the brake so that she's moving. Come on. That's it, a bit of acceleration if necessary. Tiny, tiny wee bit. Tiny wee, that's good. Tiny wee bit of acceleration. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And on the brake. Okay, it's alright, we've got four new tires back in the place. So Fully, fully to the left with your wheel, because what we're going to do is we're going to go up that track there. Can you see that track? 
okay? So off the brake and just start to accelerate. Nice and gently, just build your acceleration a little bit. All right, that's good. Bring, start, start accelerating to get us up over the hill. That's good, keep us coming, keep us coming. That's good, keep us going. And straighten your wheel, start to straighten your wheel. Okay, yep. And straighten your wheel. And again, Daniela, keep turning it right. That's it, good. Go on, go on, go on, and just build you. That's good, go on. Okay, right. Can you just, can you just stop you there? What, what you're actually doing, and you put an acceleration on, and then you're taking it off, and it's going up, and it's rolling back, and it's going up, and it's rolling back. When you've got your acceleration, just build it and build it and keep try to keep it constant. Yeah? Build it nice and gently and nice and constant and it will go go forward, okay? Daniel, and use, use your cameras. Can you feel the pedal in your foot? Can you feel it under your foot? Can you feel it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And slowly, very, very slowly push down. Right, yeah, until right. the revs start picking up. Once yeah. the revs start picking up, and then just hold it there when you yeah. start moving. Yeah. Okay, I've got you on the brake, don't worry. So just build your, build your power. So That's it, good kill. Build your power, build it, build it. That's good. And, and that's it, keep it, keep it building, keep it building. Keep it building, keep it building, that's good. And as we start to straighten off, just back off a little bit, but just enough to keep us moving. You see? Good girl. Yeah. Sorry, Tony. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. No, you were, you were actually inputting with, with good stuff there. That's good. So nice and gentle. That's good. And just follow the road round to the right. Ah. Okay. So, so come around to the right. That's good. So. That's good. Just build your power a bit, a bit, just to keep us moving, that's good. That's all you need to do, just keep it very, very gently. Nice and straight. Yeah, that's good. We're going to go all the way down to here. Now, as we start to go down the hill, you're going to really need to be just gently on your brake so it's moving, but you're controlling it. Do you know what I mean? We, okay, come over to the right ever so slightly. That's good. Uh, but keep it moving. Just, just ease up the brake. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. And stop it down there. That's good. That's good. We've got something on this called wade sensing, okay? Mm -hmm. And this will tell us, okay, we need to be in the water now. But it will it will give us a line on the car as to where the water shouldn't go beyond. So just ease it down as you were on the brake. Just get it get it coming down nice and gently. That's good, it's fine, it's fine. Carry on. Carry on. And off the brake completely. That's good. There you go. <laughs> One foot ten inches. Okay, so just off the brake completely, and if it doesn't move, put a tiny bit of acceleration on. And you can see where the water's coming up to. Yeah. So one foot, 10 inches, 22 inches. Yeah. So we're going through the water, and that's where the water's coming Yeah. Okay, off the brake completely. And you can put a little bit of acceleration on if you like. It's about balancing for the speed you want and uh, and, the, and the power that you need on the accelerator. So keep this to the speed going all the way down there. That'd be good. Just a little 
little slower than that. So just up. And we're taking the right hand fork. So you're only going to be ploughing fields then. Follow the track round to the left. a little bit so that's good just just bring it to a gentle halt here okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to go around a corner and it's a u it's a u turn so it's a really tight left hand turn what we need to do is just ease as far over to the right as we can to give us the, the distance we, that we need to go around the corner so just gently move it over to the right hand side Good. Yeah. Don't put any more steering on. Just let it let it go over at that. Yeah, that's good. Let it straighten up and just follow the hedge round to the right. So just come round to the left and as close to the hedge as you can. Okay, that's good. Don't worry about the things going on the bodywork too much. It's not our bodywork. Okay. So don't oversteer, but just come come round. A little bit more acceleration because we come to a natural halt. Keep it, keep the steering right there. Just build, build your power. A little bit of power just to keep us moving. That's good. And we're going to come around to the left here. That's good. Fully left. Yep. Yeah, fully left now. Fully left. That's good. That's good. Keep us going around. Keep us going around. Slowly, straight up, straight up. Okay, slower than that. Okay. Right, so your wheels are like that, so we need to straighten them, otherwise, we'll go off that way. We need to, no, that's, no, look at your wheels over to the right, that's good. So that's good. Keep it about, keep it slightly right so that as we move off, we go to the right of the track. Okay, so a bit of acceleration, just a wee bit, just a wee bit. Carry on. Come over to the right of the track. Over to the right. That's good. Let's straighten your wheel there. That's good. Your wheel's generally straight when your Range Rover is horizontal there, by the way. Okay, carry on, build the power. Keep over to the right, keep over to the right. Keep over to the right, a bit more right. Okay, that's good. And carry on. Build your power, build your power to keep us moving. Build your power, build your power. Okay, and come around to the left. Straighten up and on your brakes. Straighten your wheels, straighten your wheels, that's good. So, straighten your wheels. No, look, look where your wheels are go. Oh, no, over to the... That's it. Good, okay. So just, in fact, because we're in this position, bring them slightly right. Okay, a bit more right. And then just ease off on your brake. A bit more right, a bit more right, a bit more right. A bit more right, ease off on the brake. That's good. Good. And we're going to go straight down through this. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Nobody died. Don't worry. Okay, bob it into reverse just for a second. That's good. Okay, I just ease it back a little bit. Just, just a bit, bit, of, bit of acceleration, bit of acceleration, bit of acceleration. And stop there. Okay, right. Into forward, into drive, I should say. Okay, just wait there for a second. So see where your wheels are, straighten your wheels now. Okay, because we're gonna go straight down there. Okay, off we go. Okay. Come right slightly to the left as we're moving. Just keep us moving. So if you take your foot, yeah. Right there, as we come down here, we'll go slightly to the right. Okay, that's good. Ease off on the brake completely. Fully right. We don't want to hit this. That's going to straighten that. There we 
Good. Tiny bit of acceleration here. It's fine. ramp that we came down on the right hand side can you see it yeah. we're going to be driving back up there okay all right See any fish flopping about in the back? Uh, well, <laughs> Mark, just throw them out. Me. Okay, so as we get to the, to the ramp here, you're going to need a little bit of acceleration just to get us up onto the level. Yeah. So keep it nice and constant and just build it gently. Okay. So just apply a little bit of power. That's good, keep it constant, that's good, that's good, that's good, just to let it trickle forward, okay, a little bit more power, we're still on a very gradual climb, okay, now she's starting to run away with you, so back off, and just ease to the right of the track here, because we're going to come round to the left, and we're going to get rid of Mark in a minute, okay, so come round to the left, come round to the left, just keep us moving on. Okay, and just straighten your wheels and bring it to a halt there. Stop. Okay. Right, Mark, what yep. we're going to do is we're going to go onto this banking. Mm -hmm. We're going to try and balance on two wheels. If you get out and film us. Now, I did notice, I don't know if you did, there's some joggers. Yeah? Yep. There were three joggers that I saw. So if you get all three, there's two good points. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Okay. Take right. her across. Yeah, basically, if you stand right at, at the end there, what I'm going to do, yeah. I'm going to get as close to the edge as I can, mm -hmm. I'm going to stop her, and then I'm going to go down on the brake. Fully right and down, and hopefully we should get a wheel in. There. Oh, please! Okay. Hi. Oh, Hi. Nice and you get there. Hey. Hey. Nice and slow. Yeah. Yeah.
unfortunate we didn't get as close to the edge as, as I wanted. Just wait for Mark to put his seatbelt on. All right. Sorry, mate. tilt over quite a bit so don't worry about it but this time you know you don't have to flail with your arms yeah nice and slowly nice and slowly nice and straight at that keep this going keep it just that's good perfect isn't it so you get used to this now aren't you you didn't make a grab for the door this time <laughs> Right ever so slightly. To the right, to the right, that's good. That's good. And just be prepared to put a little bit of acceleration just to get us over the hump. That's good. Just build your power. Build your power. Build your power. Yeah. That's good. That's okay. And he's over to the left. He's over to the left. Nice and straight on these. Straight the wheel up that. That's good. A little bit more to the right, but that's good. That's straight. through that little gate in the stone wall. So what you might be better doing is as we pass this around, come into the left a little bit so that you can then turn right and you've got time to straighten up before you go through the gate, excuse me. There you go. Okay, so that's the gate we're gonna go through. Okay. That's good. the gate nice and slowly. That's good. Perfect. Okay, good. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so follow the track round to the left. Are you happy to drive back up to the centre? Do that then. So when we get to the bottom here, assuming nothing's coming, we're going to turn to the right and we're going to go back. I'll take my glasses off, therefore I can't see anything. So it makes me feel more secure. <laughs> Acceleration. Keep to keep to the track. Build up your acceleration to keep. Keep us about maybe 10 miles an hour. A bit more acceleration. That's good. No, just keep your power on. Try not to use it to do bursts, try to build it constantly and keep it, that's it, rather than bursting it. What you're doing is you're sort of doing it and then backing off, doing it and then backing off, keep it constantly, that's better. Keep it coming though, keep it coming. Ease off on your on your 
accelerator, but don't touch, touch, touch your brake. Keep in the centre of the track and follow it round to the right. We're straight, you can build your speed a little bit more again, up to about 10 miles an hour. to the end of the track here we're going to go through a bit of a built-up cattle grid it's dead straight so there's no problem and then we're going to turn around to the left and go through a forward and up a hill so as we start to go up the hill you're going to need to increase the power to keep the momentum going to keep about 10 miles an hour or whatever so nicely in the center of the track as you go through here that's good that way we've got gaps that are equal on both sides that's good perfect Okay, so keep to the centre of the track and come round to the left. Uh, Tony coming up from the forward to the centre. Keep your power on. Don't, 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 don't